YouTube family, what it do, what it do. It's 5 Crazy here back at you guys with another review. I know it's been a while. I do apologize for the delay. I had took some time off of, you know, just social media, period, after my Instagram got deleted once it almost reached 30K. But they said I was going back and forth, talking shit too much, getting flagged left and right. So I kind of expected it, but it is what it is. I'm going to just hold my tongue more in the future <laughs> with enough ranting. So today we are doing the Hot Licks flamethrower exhaust kit we do have the dual with it being a gt now you can go with either the dual or the single this pretty much can be applied to any car from what i've seen but you will need certain modifications done such as you know catalyst uh sometimes you got to run certain gases to have like a flame you know come out bigger than what you want it to um so right now we are in the wiring process um, i'm gonna give you guys a quick breakdown now this kit does come with all the parts that you will need, um, you know, just for the completion of the project. Now, if you're like me, sometimes I do like to go out and buy my own parts for specific reasons. You know, not only because, I'm not saying that the quality of what other people send you is bad, but you know, sometimes you got dedicated companies and products that you use that you know work well. So, you know, it's, it's always good to kind of tweak it and customize your, your minds your way, how you want to do it. My apologies for the traffic, y'all. This is the road I stay on, man. <laughs> that bitch is non-stop busy, but I'm gonna show y'all everything we got. So we got the we got the module mounted up. As you can see, it's probably upside down, but as you can see, the hot licks flamethrower exhaust. I did pretty much go. I was laying in the trunk from that way, facing this way, to to mount that up as perfect as possible. I'm kind of like a perfectionist when it comes to things. <laughs> Uh, we still are in the early stage of the install. Uh, I still have to take it to the to my muffler shop down the street for them to actually, you know, weld on the spark plug bung nuts and the, uh, you know, drill the hole and everything. But um, as far as like the wiring and everything, I pretty much got that down packed. Now I'm not a mechanic and no, in no way necessary, but and excuse the mess, guys. I do tend to over prepare instead of under preparing when it comes to you know, modding and installing parts to my car. Cause you never know. You don't want to have to be, you know, running back and forth to the damn parts store. Cause I done been there, done that plenty of times, man. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick breakdown of everything. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm humble. I will answer anything. And if I don't have the answer, then, and if I can't find the answer, then I'm pretty much send you right back to the company. <laughs> but, um, so just to give it a, give a quick breakdown, we got the, we got the module itself. That does all the magic. Not all the magic, but, you know, pretty much majority of the magic. Um, the old kits did used to come with two for the dual exhaust. So you pretty much would have, you know, one you can mount on the left side and one you can mount on the right side. But with these new kits, I'm assuming that they add, just added, you know, more uh, electrical power to it. And then just pretty much added everything into one module. But so you will get two spark plug cores that you will have to pretty much run downwards into your exhaust and i haven't got that done yet i still have to drop my car off at the muffler shop for them to drill the holes and weld on the spark plug bung nuts uh, but once you have that done you can pretty much finito everything in the back so once you have everything drilled in your exhaust you would take this spark plug cord um it does come with also a spark plug boot which they say you pretty much would have to you know, you, you pop this on, you twist it counterclockwise or clockwise four to five times, and then it should be pretty snug. And then also this, <clears throat> this part right here pops off so you can pop it on. I'm going to show you guys. This bitch will come off. So, you know, you pretty much uh, put it on like that. And I'm assuming that you run this over the wire first, just so after you snap it on, you can just pretty much, you know, snug it up. But uh, yeah, so it comes with this. You know, you get the two spark plugs. Of course, you get all your wire and stuff. Um, and everything else, I, it, it, it also comes with a button. I have already took that off. And, but yeah, guys, so I mean, the kit pretty much comes with everything you need. You know, like I stated, you get the spark, you get the, the double spark plugs, you get the spark plug boots, you get everything for your electrical, such as the wiring. Now they... They pretty much, I would say they probably gave enough wiring to not only run 
because you would have to run three different wires as far as like to the to the button but uh they gave wire this black wire right here and i'm gonna i'm gonna just pretty much use all of this for under the hood um installation and i bought a red wire just to have like a different color wire to the button so everything's not matching and if you know if i have any faults or any issues i can pretty much know okay if it's not this one it's these two but um yeah, they pretty much give you everything. Uh, I did, like I said, buy additional 16 gauge red wire to run from the back, as far as like my positive up to the button. This you would need to, uh, as far as for Mustangs, I don't know for every other car, like I said, you may want to hit them up and ask them for anything outside of a Mustang. But I know for the 11 to 14 Mustangs, from the research and then videos I've seen online, you pretty much want to run this wire under your hood. Uh, you will have to splice your number 40 amp in your fuse box and then from there you will pretty much uh you know run one wire from the fuse box side of it to the button and then the other side that connects to your ignition coils you will run that from your ignition coils splice this wire to it and then run that to the button and i'll, I'll show you guys the button so it'll you know kind of all add up together so it's not like you just listening to what i'm saying and don't really know what i'm talking about um but yeah, so let's get started. So man. The, the the rear is pretty much wrapped up until I can, you know, get my spark plugs and everything bolted and welded on into the exhaust so I can run those spark plug wires right there. But I did take my positive as I stated, you know, I put the ground right here from the module. And then the positive, I pretty much ran it through here, connected it with my wiring harness that was already factory, ran it through the wire loom. And I haven't finished just yet, but as you can see, it stops right there. And I'm going to kind of tuck it in between the plastic door panels. And uh, yeah, when it comes to installs, I pretty much like to have like not as clean as possible, but, you know, clean for the most part to where you wouldn't necessarily be able to know, OK, he has this done. I don't want it to be obvious, like a fucking red sign on my head or something, but <laughs> Yeah, I definitely like to, uh, you know, spice it up a little bit. We got a lot more mods coming up this year. I think y'all really going to be surprised by some of the mods that we're getting. But <laughs> shit about to be crazy, man. Okay, so from the inside of the car, uh, you know, I just showed you guys where the wiring came from right there. I'm going to get in the back a little bit more so I can show you guys a little bit more detail of what's going on. But I just want to take the time to show you guys the button. Here's the button you'll be using uh that you know pretty much creates all the magic and you know as i stated there are three different prongs on the back of this they do give you the pieces the adapters that connect to this that you will have to pretty much just you know put your wire into um and once we get to that process in this install i'll pretty much show you guys you know exactly what goes where and how to wire everything up now they do give you a diagram which i must say that diagram is like probably the easiest diagram to read when it comes to wiring and I'll, I'll show that as well just so you guys kind of know you know as i'm showing you where everything goes you can just look at the diagram and say okay that's what he meant okay well this is where this goes and like i said if you guys have any questions or you know just want to ask anything during the process or during the video after the video hit me up you can always drop a comment uh you know always hit me up on instagram 50.crazy Again, they did delete my old page, so, you know, I just created a new one not too long ago. I wasn't active like that, but now I'm starting to get back active and back in motion. So, you know, definitely I appreciate everybody. And like I said, let's let's go ahead and get this done. Yeah, guys, so back to the inside of the car. It's a little tight back here, but, you know, like I stated, we got the positive that's running through the OEM wire loom. I did tuck it back through the back driver's side rear seat panel back here and i'm running that through there and then brought it out right here so from there i'm gonna tuck it you know tuck it all through here all through the door seal and then we'll pretty much bring everything up to where the steering wheel area is at and then from there you know we'll pretty much be done with this positive and then from there i'll just go to the engine and then do everything to get all of that wired up all right guys so back up to the front as you can see now we're pretty much tucking the positive 
through the door sill. So we went from the back, tucking it through the door sill, and then we're gonna pretty much bring it up. And it should be coming out about right here because I measured everything as far as where the button's gonna go. So I have my button on the left side. So to come through there, come out through here, and then to connect to the button. But um, yeah, so now, like I said, you pretty much wanna take this positive, tuck it through. Some people do actually lift it up. I mean, it, you know, it's just personal preference, but tuck it through. Of course, make sure it's sturdy through there. And then, uh, you know, like I said, I'm gonna just run this through there, bring it through the hole, and then we'll pretty much wait to connect it to the button until we get everything done under the engine. And then from there, we can pretty much, you know, wrap everything up, connect all the cords, and we're done from there. All right, guys, so here's a complete look. And I probably should clean my car whenever I get a chance. <laughs> but uh, so we, we ran the wire all through the seals and brought it up and out through there. So now we're done with that positive from the rear. Now we pretty much just need to splice everything up under the engine near the fuse box, connect everything to the button, and we're done. We just got to get the actual spark plugs, um, spark plug bung nuts, you know, welded to the exhaust. And then from there, we're gonna see what it does, man. So now let's go ahead and get the wiring done from the engine bay back to the button. So here you guys can see, I've already removed the inner um, fender liner. And you know, pretty much it's the same as this. You'll have four push pins, at least on 11 or 14s. You'll have four push pins that you gotta remove. Of course, you gotta remove the tire first. But um, yeah, we're pretty much gonna be drilling through that if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna drill through here drill a hole through here loop it out run it up and then from there we're gonna go through the actual uh engine engine bay and get everything wired through the fuse box all right guys so for this next step all right so for the next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole through that grommet where the firewall is at. Um, you know, you can just pretty much use a drill bit and any type of, I would say maybe 12 to 20 volt, 20 volt drill, and you can get away with that. You probably could even use a screwdriver if you wanted to, you know, just poke a hole through. But um, yeah, so we're gonna drill through here, lace the two wires through, uh, not gonna connect them to the button just yet. That's why I still got this red one hanging down because I wanna do all of that in the end after everything is pretty much wired to their primary sections. Um, so yeah, so once we get the wire hooked up to the positive end and then to the ignition coil in, we're pretty much wrap all of that up, clean it up in the engine bay, pull it through, hook it up to the buttons. And then from there, we can pretty much just go ahead and get the uh, get the nuts welded onto the exhaust and we're gonna make magic, man. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so next I'm gonna pretty much show you the easiest way I would say to get the cores through once you drill your hole through that rubber grommet. Um, Cause again, it is rubber, it's real tight down there. Unless you drill a lot of airspace, but you don't wanna have too much to where you just got like a bunch of wind and bugs or whatever coming in to each his own. But uh, I would say take a screwdriver, you know, tape your positive and your negative to the screwdriver and then just run it through. So both sides will come through and then from there, you know, you can pretty much run it up and through the engine bay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got the whole drill finally. So now we're gonna run that through there and bring it up top. Pretty much have a few different holes that you can use for the wiring, for your Mustang. Um, I'm probably gonna use either that route or that route right there. But uh, yeah, so once we get all of this ran through, wire it up, clean it up, all the cords pulled done. up. I'm pretty much uh, now just taking off the fuse box cover and they're gonna pull this, pull the fuse box. All right guys, so we got the fuse box up. It is kind of a tight fit. You can't really do too much cause it's a lot of wiring, man. And y'all don't really wanna do too much with all the OEM stuff, unwrapping all that electrical tape and shit. But um, yeah, so that, that yellow and green wire that's kind of standing out that I pulled out, that's what we're gonna be using to cut in half. And then from there, we're gonna pretty much, you know, connect the positive and that negative to there. 
So the positive end, if I'm not mistaken, I'm about to double check the instructions, but the positive end goes to your battery. So, you know, what connects directly from the battery to the fuse box and then your negative. So that black line, we're going to connect that directly to the other end of the wire that would pretty much go straight to the coils to the car. So here we are. We finally got the positive and negative wired up. As you guys can see, I got some electrical tape wrapped around the, the, the crimpers. And like I said, they do send you the crimp, so you'll pretty much, you know, crimp it together with this, like kind of magenta purple one right here. You crimp it together with that, do your red to the fuse box itself, and then do your black cord to the negative. Now you just want to place the fuse box back down, and then we're going to clean up these cords soon but we're gonna go back to the inside so we can go ahead and crimp together these to the actual button itself, these light blue ones. So we're gonna crimp these to the button and then, you know, pretty much run the wires to these and then we'll be all set. All right, family, so now we're back to the inside of the car. So now what we need to do is take these crimps. We're pretty much gonna crimp these to each three of these wires right here. And then from there, once you crimp it, you'll pretty much connect the wires from this end to each piece. You know what I'm saying? And from there, we pretty much just got to put, like I said, the... Uh... All right, guys, so as you can see, we got all three of them taken care of. Now we're just going to connect it to the button itself. And then from there, let's head on over to the weld shop. All right, guys, so before I actually pop the button back on, I just wanted to show you pretty much where everything goes. So this is the positive from the engine. The middle one comes from the back module, and then that last black one is coming from the engine, the negative side. All right, guys, so we got the welding done. Don't worry about that right there, y'all. This Disregard that right there. <laughs> That's gonna be coming up soon. But uh, so we got the welding done. The last thing we got to do, like I told you, is get the spark plugs, you know, actually hooked up in the back. So I still got my two wires here and here that we're going to hook up. And then, like I said, you're going to take these bungs, slide the spark plug through there and this end. So this tip will be what you will stick through the exhaust. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the finishing touches from the weld job. And then from there, we can go ahead and, uh, you know, see what we can do with these flames, man. All right, guys, so lastly, what you want to do is, you know, grab a friend or if you can record in the back. I just had my fiance check for me, but, um, you know, I'm going to still record for y'all. But if not, I would have somebody behind your car after you install it and get everything wired up just to make sure that both of your spark plugs are sparking in the back. And you don't have to cut the car on for this. You can pretty much just cut your running lights on. So, you know, just key it over to the lights and then just check to make sure that each spark plug is giving that spark. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So now let's just wait until it gets dark and we're going to see what these flames be about. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> 